At this point what we're going to do is to start with our tutorial on text formatting. And in order to familiarize ourselves with what we're doing, let's just take a look first and foremost. I'm going to set this to 100% visibility and we'll just scroll up here to see the text that we have written. If I unlock this layer, here is Killer Sites MC, Author MC, Portfolio MC, and Contact MC. They're all movie clips. And these movie clips, once we give them button event handlers like on press and roll over, they'll act just like a button. Now, inside of this movie clip, you'll notice by double clicking, I enter inside the movie clip here where our BMC killer sites right uh, inside of it there is a dynamic text field and it has the name my text txt this is particular to every single one of them each one of these movies has a my text txt so in other words the text field belongs to this particular movie clip the author one or the folio or the contact one so each one is set up in that fashion so I'm gonna lock that layer again they all have very intuitive names now that we've set this up here's something else that we're going to do if I open up the action script layer of the first frame of the action script movie here we have our MCL movie clip loader and load var LV what we're going to also do I'll just copy this information here for a second and we're going to start and create some button options so I'll just say start um, well actually let's text format it start text format okay and let's create another copy of this for the ending just to be nice and neat and in between these two we'll stick in all of the information that we need and to start that off here's what we're going to do let's understand what the text format option is just like we created um, objects from classes here the text format class is going to allow us to style individual text fields. Now this is not CSS styling, this is done directly inside of Flash. So while these button events are taking place, rollover, press, and all of that, what we're going to do is tell this text field to react a certain way. So this is a different way of doing things than the traditional button with the different states, you know, for on, over, and all of those. Here we're going to script those options, but this affords us a lot more flexibility, as you'll see. So, first thing I'm going to do is to create a var or a variable, right? And I'm going to call it b text, button text, and we're going to say button text disable. Because if you remember, the button text will be disabled when we're at the, for example, killer site section. So in other words, it will look orange and it will be bold, as well as not being able to press on it. But we'll get to that in due time. So let's strict data type this particular um, variable. And we'll give it the strict data typing of capital T text field. Oh, excuse me. Text format is what we are looking for here. So, of course, we're going to create a new text format class, and we could just copy this information, make it a little easy on ourselves. Okay, and we'll put in this information right here, but inside these brackets, we've got some information that we have to disseminate. Number one, what style of text do you want? Well, number one, I'm going to say, let's make this in the font family of Verdana, comma, the point size will be 12, comma, and I'm also going to give a hexadecimal value. Now, hexadecimal values in Flash are written in this fashion, right? We write 0 and x instead of the traditional pound symbol, and then you put in your six uh, letters or numbers. Right, so I'm going to say FF9900, which I know to be the orange. Another thing, one last thing, a Boolean value for true or false, indicating whether or not this particular format will be bold or not. In this case, true, indicating that yes, 
not only do I want this to be in Verdana and 12 point size and orange, I also want it to be bold. So anything or any text field that is associated with B text disable will look like this. All right, now, now that we've done that for B text disable, let's also do this. Here, I'm just going to copy this. Never work smarter, not harder. B text enable. And let's do this by putting a capital E N able. New text format, text format again, right? Now, the only difference here is the color, which I want to be the traditional white, which is just six Fs. Three, four, five, six. Yes, got that right. And I do not want it to be bold. So I'll say false for the Boolean value here. So anything that is called or associated with the variable B text enable will look the way it normally does. Okay, so now that we've enabled those elements, let's just write a little comment to ourselves here to say, for example, if you remember, right at the beginning, the first movie, Killer Sites Loads. So in that case, I want to disable the first button. Button by default. All right. So in that case, what I'm going to do here is, well, let's target the movie. So notice there it is, Killer Sites MC, right? And Look, you don't even need to keep the this in this case, right? Flash is smart enough to know that if you're not referencing another timeline, then you're referencing this timeline. And since this is all on the master level, we could just say technically here, um, Killer Sites MC. Well, what about it? Killer Sites MC dot um, my text txt if you remember that was the name of the text field inside of it if you don't believe me let's try this again look inside killer sites mc there it is my text txt now okay you could leave the this or you could take it out it doesn't really matter but as you can see here we've targeted that particular text field now what do we want to do with it so let's add a dot now check this out here's a new one we're going to say set the um, it's called text format so I can press enter once that's in place now what is the name of the text format that I want to set if you remember if we're disabling this we're gonna say set the text format to this particular text format the one called B text disable and one other thing that I want to be doing if I do not want this button to, uh, this movie clip to act like a button, I can actually turn it off. In other words, I can just say enabled is equal to false. And let's see what that does. As you might imagine, right? The button or this movie clip will no longer act like a button because I said enabled false. So as you'll see, we completely turn it off. So I'll just save the work here, press control enter, and let's see what happens. Aha! As you've noticed, right, we've got killer sight, it's bold, it's orange, and we don't need anything else happening in here because um, it's right off the bat at the beginning. However, notice it's not enabled, right? What we're going to do now is enable the rest of these buttons to move around and at the same time we'll apply the option to them. So let's continue that in just a second.